Many of you know this is your channel of hopium free cryptocurrency content. So you're probably wondering what the hell is a title, something around a $400,000 Bitcoin even doing on this channel. I'm going to get to that in today's video and of course discuss the reasons why or why not we will get to a $400,000 Bitcoin in this cycle. Now I've got a lot of news to cover in regards to Bitcoin and I'm also going to cover a little bit of Ethereum, hopium at the end of the video. So stick around for that. But before we get there, if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. So if you want to be up to date with cryptocurrency and how to make money and invest from it, then I suggest you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Now, if you find any value from the content today, leave us a like down below. It's the best and free way to support the channel. All right, guys, with that in mind, let's move across and have a quick look at the fear and greed index currently at 92. Obviously, yesterday, about a day and a half ago, we heard the news that Tesla has already purchased $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. It's not that they're thinking about doing it. It has already happened. And that has led the market to some extreme greed. Yesterday, we saw it at 95. So we're just slightly cooling off from that news. But looking at last week, we were at 78. So we've definitely increased a hell of a lot since then. Previous to this, a couple of weeks ago, we were just sitting at greed, which sounds pretty crazy, but we have increased a lot and we are floating around this high end of the extreme greed scale for the last several weeks now. Turning to the market cap, and we are now at $1.4 trillion in this cryptocurrency market. The $1 trillion level was acting as a resistance level for some time. We broke down and now we have cleanly pushed back above it. Now, if we do see a bit of a fall on Bitcoin from here, then yes, we'll probably head back under a trillion dollars. But at this point, it looks like we are starting to stabilize above the trillion dollar market cap which, like I've said, is some sort of psychological area for a lot of people. It's as if having a market cap over a trillion dollars legitimizes the space. We are now playing in the big boys leagues. We are in the top 10 S&P 500 companies. We are playing in the likes of the gold space, the silver space. So we're starting to get up there a hell of a lot. And of course, we've seen the S&P 500 companies begin to buy into crypto. And of course, that is with Tesla being one of the first. Talk about a first day gain. Elon Musk has made $270 million in their first day of purchasing or at least telling us that they have purchased Bitcoin. So we can only go off that date that they released it in the report. I assume, and I'm sure many of you do as well, believe that they have bought this many weeks ago. You can't just buy $1.5 billion of Bitcoin in one foul swoop. It has to be done over a period of time. But nonetheless, that's the date we have to work with. And currently they're sitting at around a $270 million gain from the first day. What does this all mean? This is more great news for Bitcoin. It just puts it out there to show that it is a fantastic investment a fantastic asset to be buying into. And I say that kind of haphazardly because Although I believe it's a fantastic asset to, to buy into, many people don't still understand what it is and you just see big gains like this and people dive into it not knowing what the hell they're doing. So that then starts to breed the real greed into the market which could send us skyrocketing and things become extremely volatile. That's usually the end pieces to a bull market when we start to hear news like this. Now, I'm not saying in any way that this is the end, but I'm wary of news articles which continue to promote the massive, huge gains that you can easily and quickly make from Bitcoin. Notice the wording, notice what they're doing here. This all plays into market psychology and market sentiment. So although I think we probably have six, 12 months in this bull market left to go, maybe more, maybe less. I'm still wary of these and the time is starting to get on at this point. The times to buy were 2019 and 2020. Now we are really getting into the difficult space and I'm not saying it's don't buy or do buy, but it's just to be aware of what we experience as the market continues to push higher. Nonetheless, we still have the naysayers and JP Morgan as always loves to throw their towel into the mix. Now, JP Morgan sees Tesla Bitcoin bet as too bold for others to follow. This is going to be important moving forward into the other news articles that I've got today and piecing it all together. Now, many of us know that JP Morgan changes their mind like they change their underwear, maybe not too often, but in most cases, probably all far too often. 
on the one hand, they are saying that it's possibly too big of a bet for others to follow. On the other hand, they talk about Square and saying how much of a strong vote of confidence it is for cryptocurrency. Now, this is an older article back from October 2020. So it just goes to show, depending on how they feel on the day, whether they want to make headlines, I don't really know why JP Morgan would be going from one extreme to the other. Now, they probably think that it's too big for the majors in the S&P 500, which means that we won't see the big market cap stocks coming into the space. But how much emphasis do we actually place on what JP Morgan has to say anymore? You let me know in the comments down below. Do we still listen to JP Morgan or don't we? Now, the narrative continues with billionaires talking about Bitcoin. Mark Cuban has been extremely vocal over the last, I'd say, several weeks to a couple of months at least talking about Bitcoin and talking it up in the space, saying how great it is. Uh, here he's saying with Bitcoin leading the decade plus of wealth generation, it's a store of value, etc., etc. This is all fantastic for the space. It's getting the word out there. These guys all have millions of followers on Twitter, Instagram, etc. So that's the likes of Elon Musk and of course now Mark Cuban. They're both well-liked billionaires in the US broadly speaking, unlike some of the banksters, of course. So people will probably take what they have to say a little more seriously, or, or they would see it as being a little more genuine than the banksters. So Mark Cuban talks about here, the new generation that has grown up in a digital world has known their entire lives that what has been of the greatest values to them has been digital. So looking forward in terms of our next generations, this kind of makes sense and I think many of us already see this point. Everything is turning digital and it makes us a little more at ease to be able to use something that's more digital than the physical stuff. However, we do like physical things. So I don't think the physical stuff is going anywhere too fast. And when I talk about that, I'm saying metals and that sort of thing. Cash, I think they're trying to get rid of. But in terms of physical things, people still do love physical things. Just look at the craze on Pokemon cards. Look at NBA cards. That stuff is going crazy. And of course, we're getting that into the DeFi space in the form of non-fungible tokens as well. So NFTs. So that is starting to get a crossover as well. Here is that agenda again, talking about how everyone is making money out there. Now, Mark Cuban sees it, of course. He's been around, he's seen cycles. He made his billions from selling at the top of a major dot-com boom digital cycle. Remember, he sold his business for around $5 billion in about 2000 when the NASDAQ hit its all-time highs. So looking at this, talking about how others their peers are seeing wealth creation through cryptocurrency and digital assets, more people are going to want to push into the space. They see it as a legitimate space now based on a number of other factors which we've covered already. Now, this leads me into the $400,000 Bitcoin. So I've had to go through those couple of articles prior to get to the point where this is possible, but it's also maybe not so possible. ARK Invest has been one of the best companies to invest with over the last couple of years, especially as they have bought a lot of Tesla stock. Kathy Woods has a fantastic track record of understanding the technology, digital and disruptive space. So when she talks about Bitcoin, I think a lot of people listen. Talking about a $400,000 Bitcoin and how that is possible. Quite simply, it's some easy maths that they have laid out in this graph here. Hypothetical price increase if Bitcoin were to replace cash on S&P 500 corporate balance sheets. So they're not saying that if every company took all of their cash and put it into Bitcoin, it's as if they only took out 1%, then we would have around a $40,000 or $50,000 Bitcoin price. Now, if they took out 10% of their cash and put it into Bitcoin, that's how we can reach the $400,000 Bitcoin. Now, that's a pretty simple look at how we could get to a $400,000. Note what we've already talked about in terms of this agenda or this narrative of really bolstering these targets or these expectations of the retail investor or even the institutional investor. $400,000 Bitcoin may not happen this cycle. Now, I don't always love to come on and try to bring down the ideas out there. But again, this is your home of hopium free cryptocurrency content. So we want to make as much money as we can and not get too swept up into the clouds with gigantic valuations. We know that it is possible, but will it happen this time? So we have to keep our eyes set 
on what is happening in the charts and what's happening in the market. Now this is very possible and I do think we will see a $400,000 Bitcoin. Whether we'll see it this cycle, I'm unsure yet, but it is possible. If we started to see the dominoes fall even more with a lot of the S&P 500 corporate companies uh, come out and put 10% of their balance sheets into Bitcoin, then sure, we can get to the 400,000. But really ask yourself, do you think 500 of these companies are going to come out and put 10% of their balance sheets into Bitcoin within this cycle, which may only have another 12 to 24 months left in this bull market phase? That's the question I ask myself and I honestly think no. I don't think 500 companies, what are the, what are the chances, what are the likelihoods, what is the probability of 500 companies coming out in the next within the next two years and putting 10% of their balance sheet into Bitcoin? I think it's very low, but I think there's more likely that maybe we'll see 10, 20% of those 500 companies come out and put maybe more than 1% into Bitcoin. So that's why I still think we could get beyond 100. And what I've put out a video uh, a couple of months ago now looking at a $200,000 Bitcoin price. No one knows for sure, but I definitely think we'll be over a six figure Bitcoin within this cycle. So it still gives us quite a long way to go for Bitcoin, possibly doubling from here, maybe tripling from this point to around 150. Now I keep the reviews or I keep my thoughts a little bit tapered down because the news and the agenda out there will bolster it up for me. So I don't need to add to that level of excitement. I need to keep my head focused and that's what I present on this channel to you guys as well. Really think about the probabilities. Could that happen over the next 10 years into the next cycle? I think we would definitely get closer to 500 of those companies putting 5, 10, 20% of their balance sheet into Bitcoin, which would then push that price past 400, get us to 500, maybe even a million dollars. But remember, they can't go out and throw billions of dollars into Bitcoin just yet because the market is still too illiquid for all of these companies to get into. So that's the main point that I want to have a look at here and understand that we can get to a $400,000 Bitcoin but I'm not planning on it for this cycle. I'm definitely seeing it later on. So if we can continue to stack our sats in the Bitcoin space, get a whole lot more Bitcoin and just keep it there for the next five, 10, 20 years, I think we will do extremely well. And how do we do that quicker? None other than Ethereum. A very simple look at this sort of plan, especially now, giving it great timing that we've seen Bitcoin pump, which has pushed the ETH BTC price down, not the ETH USD price that has gone up a little more. We're sitting almost at 1800 US dollars. So what we want to look at is the ETH BTC. Now, if we can increase our Bitcoin holdings with ETH BTC, that's another great thing because we're going to see Bitcoin also go up. I obviously think Ethereum is also going to go up a hell of a lot. And at some point in the future, Ethereum may even pass Bitcoin. I'm not a Bitcoin maximalist. I'm not an Ethereum maximalist. I just am looking at what can be built on Ethereum and the potential it has compared to something like Bitcoin. So I know that's a narrative out there that a lot of people discuss, but I am one of those people that also think Ethereum has a lot more potential to increase in value than Bitcoin does. So make bigger gains. So what am I talking about here? I'm looking at the ETH BTC chart. Currently we are at 0 0.0388. So call it 0 0.04 just for round numbers, sitting somewhere around 0 0.04, which is 4% of uh, Bitcoin's current value. Now, quite simply, if we wanted to double our Bitcoin value, we need to buy in at 4%, which is 0 0.04, and then sell at 0 0.08. So say I bought one Bitcoin's worth, which is currently about $46,000, $46,000 of Ethereum right now. As Ethereum hits 0 0.08, if it hits that, so there's nothing guaranteed here, then I have doubled the amount of my Bitcoin value. And I would, if I just want Bitcoin, I would sell it all. And I've gone from one Bitcoin to do two Bitcoins. This theory is very similar to the gold silver, silver ratio in order to increase your gold ounces that you're holding. You look at the chart and you see when the value of silver is far too high for gold and vice versa. And you continue to flip between the two. 
Now we have Ethereum and Bitcoin, which are our digital gold and potentially digital silver. And it makes life a hell of a lot more easier to be able to switch between these two in order to increase our positions. Now, this is obviously all speculation. This is just a theory. So far, it is possible to have done that in the past. But for this cycle, we are still waiting to be able to double our Bitcoin from the 4% level to the 8% level, which is up at around this point just here. If we did buy it last year, we we're at around 2% of Bitcoin's value, currently at 4%. So it was possible to do it within about a year and four or so months. So we can see around 430 days. I have this on a two week chart. So that is something that I'm definitely looking at as a way to increase my Bitcoin holdings. And of course, Ethereum, I love it as another long term hold as well. That's my strategy all along is to use the altcoins to increase my Bitcoin holdings. And as Ethereum matures, I see it as a much better long term hold. I still see it as a good long term hold now, but as it matures, it'll uh, basically show us whether that is a really strong long term hold. It's nothing is confirmed yet. So that's why I still look at increasing my Bitcoin holdings. Let me know in the comments what you like to do. Do you like to increase your Bitcoin holdings or your Ethereum holdings or both? Do you think that is a sound plan to increase your Bitcoin holdings? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. It goes a long way to helping the channel out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I also have 40% off for a limited time on my trading course. Link is in the description down below. Just click through, you'll get the email code sent to you for the discount and I'll see you guys over in the trading course. Otherwise, I'll see you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.